Much research shows that work that is stimulating, promotes mastery, has agency, is relational, and has tolerable demands tends to benefit workers and organizations. We call this smart work design. When we think about work, there are two key benefits of interest. We want people to be happy and healthy at work, but we also want workers to be productive and effective. The evidence that well-designed work promotes health and well-being is strong. But is well-designed work better for performance? This question is important. If work design positively affects performance, this means that designing better work is an important tool for achieving more effective and profitable organisations. To address this question, we reviewed 55 rigorous studies focusing on the effect of work redesign interventions on performance. We found that work can be redesigned to enhance performance, with 79% of the studies showing a positive impact. However, we did find that some types of interventions were more effective than others. Let's take a look at these. The evidence was strong for job enrichment and job enlargement interventions. Job enlargement means expanding the variety in people's work, while job enrichment means expanding variety as well as expanding other things like decision-making participation and feedback. For example, in one study, telephone maintenance mechanics were provided with on-the-job training to increase their responsibility, along with additional feedback on their performance. This change led to a 50% improvement in the quantity of work completed. Relational interventions were also very effective at improving performance. These interventions focus on improving workers' understanding of the significance of their jobs and the impact they have on other people. In one study, call centre agents responsible for gathering donations learned how the money they raised changed the lives of recipients. As a result, they worked harder, were less likely to quit and reported a much higher level of motivation in their work. Autonomous work groups refer to a method of reorganising teams into units which self-manage their own responsibilities. In doing so, teams have more agency and more stimulating work. While the evidence was mixed for this approach, there were some promising findings. For example, one study showed that creating self-managing nursing teams resulted in increased performance and higher patient satisfaction. All the interventions we've covered so far focus on changes at the level of individuals or teams. System-wide interventions focus on changing the whole organisation, such as introducing new human resource practices. Again, there were some promising findings for this group of interventions. For example, one workplace adopted an ergonomic redesign, which reduced physical demands on workers. The authors found that not only did this improve the health of workers, but it also had a positive impact on the efficiency of the organisation. We concluded from our review that most of the time, work redesign interventions do enhance performance. So, get to it! Work redesign can be a powerful way to achieve both better performance in an organisation as well as a healthier and happier workforce.